The history of Blesma dates back to the First World War, when thousands of troops were coming home in need of amputations, without any real long-term help being available to them. So the organisation was founded and is primarily about motivating victims and helping them back into normal everyday life, whilst accommodating their well-being. While some amputees returned from war feeling they could never lead normal lives again after such trauma, Blesma is there to support victims and provide them with opportunities to rebuild their physical and mental strength and desire for life once more. The organisation consists of the headquarters in London and two homes in Blackpool, Lancashire and Creef in Scotland and local branches throughout Britain. These homes, used as permanent care homes for the older members, mostly injured in World War II, and also as holiday homes for those members looking for a relaxing break. The homes are of an exceptional standard, with 24-hour nursing and many facilities including ensuite bathrooms, sky television and a bar. The fact that the home operates as a holiday destination for members means residents and visitors are always meeting new faces and sharing experiences. This really exemplifies the spirit of Blesma, trying to provide people with social interaction and helping them realise that they're not alone. We believe that relating with other victims is a very positive experience and helps in rebuilding self-esteem. Last year in Blackpool, we were fortunate enough to host the biggest 60th anniversary of the end of war events outside of London. The home here were fortunate to receive the money from the, the lottery home front recall, which enabled us to hold a garden party for over 350 veterans in the Blackpool and Fylde coast. The staff get great satisfaction out of giving the best quality of care to all these men who gave so much for us. Often people think of Blesma to be solely caring for elderly victims. And while 80% of its members are over 60, there are many members who have fought in more recent conflicts, such as Bosnia, Afghanistan and the Gulf Wars. The positive effects of Blesma's work are truly reflected in the many fundraising events the younger victims have taken part in. The recent Atlantic Challenge sailing event saw members sail from the Spanish island of Gran Canaria to the Caribbean island of St Lucia in an unbelievable experience, providing the members with a once-in-a-lifetime trip they'll never forget. The Ski Bob Rehabilitation Programme saw members having fun on the slopes of Solden, Austria, in an event which saw 80-year-old member Henry Wuger, MBE, return to the piste for his final Ski Bob at the age of 80, raising £10,000 for the association. There's a whole range of more everyday events for more elderly members from day trips to the seaside, school visits, parades and trips to the cinema. The list goes on. Activities and outings, there's plenty of that goes off. There's outings so three or four times a week, various places. Fleetwood Market and maybe on a Friday morning, a country ride some afternoon and stop for a cup of tea somewhere. Entertainment at night brought in. No, you want for nothing in here. You want for nothing. For members who are still living in private residence, there's regional welfare officers who regularly visit members, ensuring their day-to-day -day needs are catered for and to provide assistance with any issues they may have. It's part of Blesma's work to continue to care for the wives and widows of members and to continue to involve them in all events and activities, ensuring they can enjoy life as much as their partners. Eric, Eric has been uh, a big help to me, uh, in reassuring me that uh, his help is at hand. The interviewers uh, told me that, you know, that he, he tries best to do everything uh, he can to, uh, to get me funding, and I'm looking forward to that. It's our intention to continue bringing happiness back into people's lives who've endured such life-changing experiences. It brings great comfort to the organisation to see that we can help make a difference to such admirable citizens and ultimately help to create a positive, motivated community, helping members enjoy their lives as they should. <laughs>